Dean with I Buy Cool Stuff. So we're going to look at some of the other things that I buy. So we're going to look at all this stuff here a little bit. I uh, just had the uh, German sniper rifle, so it was out, and that is a cool thing. So let's uh, get into it, and uh, we'll talk about the Christmas lights too. So there's more than just a few things to collect when you're talking about buying cool stuff. So all this stuff here is other cool things I have bought, acquired, whatever. And just to look at one thing, guns only or bayonets only, leaves so much to be desired. So uh, the picture you've seen at the very beginning is a picture of the back of my t-shirt. Because I want to buy anything that's cool. I don't want to buy just one thing. So I buy anything from gold and silver, coins, antiques, marbles, as my truck has shown you. And we're going to talk about some of these other things that I just had in the video right now. So this is a World War I knuckle knife. In the original scabbard. Very cool. Not something you see all the time, but I had money in my pocket, and I bought both of these from the same guy. He seen me at the flea market and knew I collected the stuff because the back of my shirt, my truck, every place I go, people know I'm looking for stuff. This is a nice World War II uh, fighting knife. I believe it's a K-bar. No, it ain't. I know exactly what it is. So I bought this. No, it isn't. I bought this. Is a USMC. Let's turn it over. USMC. World War II. K-Bar fighting knife. Only in New York. I bought this while I was driving my taxi a long time ago. I hit a yard sale and stuff. Guy said he had a knife. And I bought it. Compasses are something else you can find. There's lots of very cool compasses out there. Very, very neat compasses. See how this one opens. Uh, does it open it? I don't remember what opens this one. It just pops open. So, I love compasses. And compasses, I use a regular compass. I use this one here. Whenever I'm deer hunting and stuff, it's it's a little bit newer, but it works very well. And I use that one there. Duck hunting all the time. I'm sorry, not duck hunting, but deer hunting and stuff. Whenever I go up north, this is an older style compass. And uh, they're all going to point at each other and different things. Here's a cooler model compass. This one comes in a leather case. And it opens up. And that pops up. That's the hinge. Or is that the hinge? It's got a mirror in it and stuff for sighting, aiming. Very cool, very cool compass. So when it's pointing north, they don't go bad. The uh, That is one of the neatest things about compasses. So another thing you can find are other edged weapons. You can find axes, shovels, hatchets, all World War II. And... Uh, you can find uh, things like this. This is a World War II detonator. Very cool. Blasting machine. Something you just don't see. But it's definitely cool. If we can give her a crank. If I got enough. So, 
Let me uh, set this phone down for a second. So it took me a while, but uh, I had to get it working. And as you can see, it still works. So you can buy things like this. And you say, what would I ever use something like that for? You know what? I've got a uh, nephew that's uh, about five. And when uh, we're going to build some rockets. And you know what we're going to use to launch some rockets? We're going to use a World War II detonator. We're not going to use a 9-volt battery. We're going to do something with some cool stuff. So, like I said, even metal boxes like this one here that comes with the scope. Buy anything that you see that's military that's cool. And, uh, you know, just cool stuff is cool stuff, you know. This has got a cruciform bay, uh, edge on it which is kind of neat about this blade here. It's just a triangle. Very scary. I would not want to get stuck with that. But them are trench fighting knives. This I didn't talk about. We'll talk about this briefly. You see a lot of bayonets when you're out. This is a late war Japanese bayonet with a wood scabbard. So buy anything you see that you don't normally see. The ones with the scabbards are worth at least twice as much as the with the wooden scabbards are worth at least twice as much as the ones that have regular scabbards. So one of the things I learned in buying cool stuff, buy the weird. So anyhow, get out there, find some cool stuff. There's lots of cool stuff out there to be found and uh, figure out what you can do with it. Take an old compass deer hunting with you. Got to have a compass in your pocket. I know you got a cell phone. I know it's got a compass in it, but why not use a nice vintage compass that's seen you someplace else? If you find a detonator and you got a son, grandson, nephew, whatever that wants to launch rockets, take it out. Set it up so you can show him, show them that all it is is an electrical spark that it generates and, you know, teach them about magnetos. So, anyhow, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, 4,000 hours, uh, going to start getting paid for these. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And like I always say, God bless you and God bless America.